You have the PCD Bengal P63L, looks like this. Make sure we're talking about the same phone. Three cameras at the top in the square, sensor, PCD logo, logo. And you want your phone to run faster. You've had it for a while, and you just want to find out if you can speed it up. The good news is you can, and it's going to feel like it's complex and like you're a hacker, but it's really simple. Just follow these instructions. All right, the first thing I want to show you is how your phone currently runs. So I'm going to bring up the phone and I want you to pay attention to how the software grows out of the phone and then when we close the phone, how the software closes back into the phone. See how that glow comes up? It takes a moment to bring up the phone and we're at the phone. Now let's see uh, closing the phone. Closing the phone, you see it just go bloop like that and now you're ready to go. So let's say you're bringing up Messenger. Same thing kind of grows into Messenger kind of turns on and let's press OK and close Messenger and it kind of like takes a moment and closes. One more thing, bring up camera. Camera comes up like this and turns on, you can take a picture and then when we close the camera, kind of closes. Okay, keep that in mind how it took a moment and what we want to do is we want to make the phone snappier, quicker. Okay, so here we go. Let's get into settings. S swipe up once. Bring up all your apps in alphabetical order. Hit settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom of settings to about phone. We've got the P63L. Touch about phone. Scroll all the way down inside about phone and you see this word build number. So it doesn't matter what build you have. What we want to do is touch the build number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times you are now a developer. That's exactly what we want. Back out one time and we're going back into the settings. This time we're going to touch system, system. And we can see that this developer options is now here. It wasn't here before. Touch developer options. Inside developer options, we want to sh make sure that this is toggled on. So if it's not highlighted, we want to make sure it's toggled on so it's highlighted. Yes, we want this. Okay, so this warning here, you can read it, pause if you need to read it. Basically, don't touch anything else. Okay, what we're going to change is very simple. So we're going to scroll way down and we're going to look for a heading called drawing. There's debugging. No, we don't want that. So if you accidentally touch something, just push cancel. There's networking. We don't want that yet. Input, I think, is next. Keep scrolling, scrolling. There's input and drawing is next. This is what we want drawing. We want these three settings here. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, animator duration scale. Notice that they're all 1x. So if you end up changing the settings and you don't like how your phone runs, just come back in and change it back to 1x. That's the default setting. Some people say, okay, so let's just touch it one time. Let's do the first one, window animation scale. Some people say to choose the 0.5 and it the lower the number, the quicker those animations go. I say turn them all the way off. Off. Okay, let's do the second one. Transition animation scale. Animation off. Let's do the third one. Animator duration scale. Touch it. Animation off. And we're done. Don't touch anything else. Now press the home button. Now watch this. Watch how you bring up the phone. The phone is going to be like Shazam and turn right on. Watch. One, two, three, phone. Shazam! It turned right on. <laughs> you, it's, yeah, it's just silly. And then when you go back out, it turns right back off. There's not. We don't have to wait for it to do an animation. Let's bring up Messenger. Shazam! <laughs> right on. And then let's turn it. Let's get, let's back out, and it just turns right off. All right. Hopefully you can see. You can test it on your phone too. Let's bring up camera. Shazam! It <laughs> turns right on. And then let's back out. So your phone is going to feel a little bit crisper, a little snappier, and definitely it's going to feel faster because it is. And again, if you don't like the settings, just log back into the developer options and turn them back to 1x. Hey, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you need help changing your SIM chip, watch this video next.